Hi, um, some days ago I had the idea I'd like to learn a little bit more about Bifrost and therefore I thought it would be cool to uh, create um, something like a web deformer or a wire deformer and yeah but I'm no TD so I had no idea how to start and I did a little mock-up what I wanted to do just a blue tube a tube should uh, bend with the curve and those uh, gray parts should uh, stay in shape. Yeah, that's the idea. And I posted here on the area and Maxime pointed out what to do, but there was no way for me to figure it out how, how to set up all those crazy nodes. And so um, Maxime showed me here I think this is the right picture. I don't know. Wrong. Where is Ah, here it is. Um, how to do it. This is the graph and I rebuilt it. But there was one missing uh, link because uh, Bifrost is not able to import uh, curves at the moment. And there is a little script. I think, yeah, here it is. Yeah, uh, Aslan posted a little uh, script here on the area how to get the curve into the graph. It's really easy. So here is um, what I did. I'm just select the curve, and then you just have to fire up the script, and it will uh, create this input node, and you can go from there. And yeah, there are some nodes in here, you see, um, those with the R icon here are from the Rebel Pack and this one here are from Maxime and it's really uh, straightforward. I have no idea what most of those nodes do inside because if you double click them, you see, you go inside, there are math nodes and all this kind of stuff, but um, as an artist I have no idea what they are doing, but it's not necessary. To, we just have to grab those nodes, put them together, and after a while I figured out what all those um, backdrop boxes are here doing. And I can show you here that this is the BIF shape. This is what uh, Bifrost is creating here. And I thought, okay, it would be cool if I would do some other thing with it. And there I, okay, I'll leave this on. I just grabbed, I cut this uh, connection here. You can do it with Alt and Shift and put in some other object. Now I have something like this here. And here are my, my carrots, bam, and you see, I have some carrots placed here. And the cool thing about that is those nodes here are calculating the length of the curve. And if you move them, they are more or less carrots placed. You can see it's really great. And if you change this value here, you get just more or less of those carrots. You can see. It's really cool. Um, special thanks to Maxime. Um, without you, I haven't found out uh, this great little game here. Yeah, I will explore this further. Maybe I will add some uh, random rotations or I don't know. See you next time.